Okay. Damn, dude. This ring. Okay, hold on. Maybe it's clashing with this light. Nah. I like the the natural lamp light. We'll see. We'll figure something out. I got my lighting set up and stuff. Okay. So, I wanted to get Colleen up to like level 20, so that we can um, make her a sage. It's going to be a little bit of a minute, but not too long. This area we're in is pretty good. Damn, dude, that, ah, that ring light hurt my fucking, hurt my eyes. Um, Neve. That name reminds me of the dude from, um, what was it again? She stopped on the news. It was, um, fucking Catfish. God. I forgot what the name was called for a minute. I want to put the, ch like, the chat thing to the left. I don't know how to do that, though. Oh, well. Okay. Oh, shit! This thing can use fireball? Oh, fuck. Oh. Good lord, that got dangerous real fast. Hopefully we run into more, um, slimes. A fierce bear, that's new. Let's see how much experience it gives us. Um, it's just one enemy, though. And... I mean, it's not crazy. Yeah, it's not that bad. That was pretty easy. I'm sure if there were, like, three of them, that'd be a little harder. Oh. Not bad experience, too. Okay, good. So where is she at now? She's 17. So we need quite a little bit. We need like three more. If we ran into some fucking metal slimes, that'd be really awesome. These guys might be annoying. Never mind. They're dead. By trying to get the sage thing now, it also will help us get like, um... A lot of experience already, so we probably won't need to level grind for a while, which is good because we've been kind of getting our ass kicked lately. Did she blaze more? Let's see that. Especially Roth, I mean Roth, Rato and Goliath, they need some more, they need some better attacks. Oh, these things could use fireball. Shit. That's not good. Hopefully this kill- Whoa! 70? Damn! That's good. Oh, it just hits one, though. Yikes. Well, that, that's good, though, still. 70 damage. Holy shit. I would find some places to go buy some stuff, but... Doesn't have as many places to like go right now to buy anything. Yes! Some metal slimes. Shit. It's kind of a tough. Aw, oh, really? They attacked first? Hmm. I want to go after the slimes more than anything. And then we can just bang. Hopefully. Ah, I don't know. I don't think it's going to work out. There's just too many enemies. Like, it's better to fight a metal slime when there's, like, not a lot of other enemies around. 
Shit. And we keep missing. Fuck! Oh, what's that fucking need doing that? I'm saying need because I'm thinking of the guy. The guy's name. Fuck. Okay, that's one dead at least. Shite. Kill more than yourself and use bang again. Ah, if we could just kill this metal slime, dude. He's actually not running away, too, which is a good thing. Damn it! I'm getting very lucky, by the way. That these enemies aren't just rocking my shit right now. Fuck! All that fighting. For me not to kill this little bitch. Damn, dude, no one can hit him. Don't you have to hit him like four times? Goliath has really shitty aim. If Goliath hit him just once, it'd be fine. But Goliath cannot hit him for shit for some reason. Yeah, we're getting fucked up for this fight. Because we just want to kill this metal slime. And everyone's missing it. So infuriating. <laughs> it's basically taunting us because it, it won't run away. Oh my. God. Where the fuck do we find those poison needles things at? Well, it seems like we just won't be able to get it then. He's just gonna keep dodging. Fuck. Um. Okay, Goliath is always gonna seem to miss, so I'm not even gonna care. Why does it seem like he only hits it if it's like a critical hit? Oh shit! Fuck. God, I just don't think I just don't think it's in the cards. I don't think it's gonna happen. Fuck it. Best bet is to like heal up. thing not dead. Oh, it's because he used, um, oh, I, I think I know why. He chanted surround, which made it even more difficult to kill this damn thing. Fuck. Hold on, dude. I might just look up. There has to be somewhere I can get a poison needle. Because that's the best way to take him out. On right, one sec.
forgot that um my phone was dying, man. Holy shit, it's on like two percent. Oh, that's not good. Oh, fuck. That's really not good. Wait. Oh, shit. We don't have enough to, like, go back. How far away from me from the... From anything? Damn, dude. The rough thing is that... Like, it's just so out of the way to get here. Let's see. We might be able to take this lake back to the town. I just went the long way. Because of course I did. But we might be able to just go this way. There's still no way to, like, look at the map in this game, right? So, yeah, that's another point for Final Fantasy. Because they had a way you could look at the map. But in this game, it's kind of like... Still kind of like, um... Impossible. Taking off guard and bewildered. Good, so let's run. I think every time that happens, you can immediately run away. Poison needle. Where to get? Because in the Nintendo Switch version, I already had a poison needle by then. So I'm kind of wondering, like, what the hell? It can be purchased in persistence for 10 gold. Persistence? Where even is that? There's so many different versions of Dragon Quest 3. Hmm. Four Avenger Jackals. Ship still where I left it. It's good to have Goliath go after the person I want to die the most. Because he always will hit first. Poison moth powder. I'm pretty sure that's a rare find. Where the hell is Cory? Kareeb. Go. DQ three. Kareeb. Is that what it's called? Kareeb. Where the hell is that? different names for these fucking towns. Wait, Knave? That's back... I've been there before then. Oh, I know where that is. Spell. Oops. Oops. Damn it. Spell. Return. Knave. If I can get one, that'd probably help me out a lot more. At least for, like, uh, Colleen or something. 
Oh, it's this douche. What, uh, what can open this? Oh, wait, I just realized I have the intelligence seed. Transfer that to... I need to sell some of that useless stuff, too. Who's got the kai? Okay. Oh, but he, oh, I probably gotta wait here until nighttime. Luckily, the enemies here are not anything to be worried about anymore. They all suck. Um... I would be very embarrassed if I die after saying that. But now the enemies here, they were strong, but now they shouldn't be too much of anything to us. Eh, a little, ex a little extra experience, I guess, while we're waiting for the sun to go down. I think this is one of those th like, things I said that changes during nighttime. There aren't, like, huge changes at night in this game. Like, it's not like, you know, at nighttime something really big could happen versus the day. But little stuff like that could change, where someone will, like, go to sleep, and they'll move away from, like, their post or something. You could take some treasure that they were high, that they were guarding. In fact, I might be able to do that in that one place, actually. Army crabs. Oops. Here's this giant enemy crab. Okay. I wish we could just stand here and it turns nighttime, but time only progresses if you're moving around. I didn't realize you can hit your own party members. Does that hurt the army crab much? Yeah, a little bit. Come on. Turn dark. I think it's supposed to be like evening now. Maybe this enemy is just literally called Caterpillar. Do I miss the, the puns? A little bit. I miss them a little bit. They were stupid. But I guess it made the enemies a little less serious though. When it's like, oh, we're fighting a Caterpillar. Caterpillar does sound kind of, like, boring. Um, Infernos, and then Fireball. Come on, there we go. Because every, like, Metal Slime we kill, that's like a thousand. So a thousand experiments. It's pretty good, so it's worth it. Okay, I think that's nighttime now. <gasps> yes, okay, he's gone. So let's use the key, open that up, blatantly rob this guy. Yep, we're robbing him. Because that's what heroes do. Open the treasure chest, Rosa finds the poison needle. Nice. Open the treasure chest, finds the club. That's useless to me, but I still stole it from you. Okay, now let's give... Let's go ahead and give that... Transfer that to Colleen. And then have her equip it. It has a shitty, it's shitty attack. It's pretty bad attack, but it's pretty good 
it, I think it like the the cool thing about it is that it hits every time. Like it never misses. It always will hit whatever you use it with, which is why it's so good for like attacking metal slimes with. Because that's their main issue is those bastards dodge a lot of attacks, and you can't hurt them with magic. At least from from what I've seen, they seem pretty damn impenetrable to magic. That would, that would actually be kind of funny or cool if he actually uh, reacted. What the fuck? Um, sell, definitely don't ever sell the fucking, yeah. don't ever sell the book of Satori. Yes. And then Goliath, you sell, sell the training suit. I don't think I need that. That's like a shittier version of the fighting suit, so. It's only 60. Yes. And then also sell... I'm gonna keep the animal suit. I don't know what it's for, but I'll keep it. I'll also sell the club, because I don't need that. And Martha, what are you holding? You can get... You can Ben get rid of that way for our clothes. Anything else? Yes. Who's possession? Get the club. All right. And then finally... What are you holding? I forgot. Oh, yeah. Your Wayfarer's clothes. Yeah, get rid of that shit. Okay. And that's that. So now that we have that, we can do a little bit of farming. Let's see, return. Back to... Baharata? I'll be honest, I kind of forgot the names. Okay. Four tongue bears. Some of these names are a little goofy still. When you think about it, I guess. Nice! Oh yeah, I forgot Colleen's doing one damage. Good load. Okay. Alright, making sure that I can see the chat. Whoa, something hit me hard. Or Neve. I hate these enemies because they fucking. They do the whole surround magic on you, man. Make everyone miss! Colleen is a heal more. Okay. Can I just go from here? I don't know. Oh, I can. Fuck! Dude, I swear, I can never run in this game, dude. Like, the run option is, like, damn near unnecessary. There's so many enemies I can use to round on you, too. That's, like, a very annoying move.
three Simiax. Uh, heal more yourself and you use Fireball. Heal more on Roto now. Jesus. We should be reaching a level up soon for someone. They're doing nothing but. Ah, oh, these green slobby fucks. I think I'm back in the territory where the metal slimes can appear. So that's good. Like I said, I could level up in that tower on that top floor where the, the other metal slug things appear, but... Does she need healing? She's fireball. There. Come on, metal slugs. Metal slimes. Uh, sweet. Dark ball. Eat him up. There we go. It's good to know that sleep fucks him up. I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh. Surprised I didn't get my ass kicked more. Woo, that was close. There we go. Stop spell, man. Oh, nice. Goliath can just one shot him. Never mind. I wanted to see how much Blaze does at this point. Not much. I'm trying to have an annoying fight right now. No, no, I'm not doing that again. Where it's just, I just keep trying to hit them and they keep dodging because they used to surround on me like 30. <gasps> there it is. Okay, no. Have Goliath fight down because Goliath sucks for some reason. I have you use Inferno and you're definitely using Attack. If it runs on the first turn, then that's just unfortunate. Then run. Inferno sucks. Skill hmm. more again on Roto. I just don't want it to run. Yes! Come on. Yes! Fucking hit it! Is that enough? Fuck! I think it needs to be hit one more time. God dang it! Um, 
Oh shit, right of MP? Fuck it. Just go after the slime then. Come on. Yes! Yes! It was worth it. It was worth getting the poison needle. Okay. Now let's see. 1,000! That's what I'm talking about. See, just killing one of those things helps this so much. Yeah, it was worth it. It was worth getting the poison needle. Nice. Shit. I didn't realize that fucking Martha was out of it, uh, magic already, though. I might have to, like, not have Martha do any magic. It might be smarter, honestly. Because right now, we're just trying to level grind. And she actually hits pretty good. She hits pretty, like, hard. So there's technically no reason for her to do, like, big attacks right now. They're actually doing pretty good on their own. Okay, if I can find one more metal slime, shit. That'd probably be good for the best. If I can just find one more. Yes! Oh, so lucky. You just go after Simeon. It might be more cowardly and run away sooner, though, if it's just one. Oh, it attacked. Lucky. Fuck. Shit. <gasps> what? The poison needle has the power to, like, one-shot something? I never knew that. I don't think it did that in the Switch version. It hit a vital spot. Wow, that's cool. What the fuck? Okay, cool. Okay, yeah. So this is a pretty good place to do this. We still need two more level ups, but... At the pace we're going, it shouldn't be, like, too crazy to do that. Let's use return. Go back to, uh, I think, Baharada. Yes. Need to heal up again. See, you gotta, you know, you don't think about it much when you're playing Pokemon. But that's honestly, like, really good in that game series. How, like, you can just, um, Pokemon centers are free. Pokemon Center has been free since the first game. That's how OP that is when you think about it. Like in other RPGs, you have to always spend money at an end to heal everyone up. But in Pokemon, right off the bat, you can heal everyone up for free. The fucking Pokemon world has way better healthcare service than anything. I'm just gonna try to run. It's not that they don't appear until I get up to this area. Fellows are taking off guard and bewildered. Good. Fight them. Beat their ass. If they won't let us leave, then beat them up. That's the best way to handle it. Oh, yes! Dude, how the fuck? How the fuck, how the fuck did you just miss that gigantic ass gorilla thing? Shit. 
Yes. Yes! Oh my gosh, I love that poison needle. Oh, thank god. See, it's 1,000 each time. Here's the thing with those metal slugs. You could theoretically get like 2,000 for fighting them, but it happens so not often. It's honestly your best bet. This isn't bad. If you're playing the Switch version, I would say go into the tower and fight those guys. If you're playing this version, I would say stay out here and just fight these guys like this. Look how much magic Colleen has now. Good lord. Now that's what I'm talking about. I don't want to fight these fucking tumors. Unless I don't have a choice though. I don't like these enemies they fucking use to round. And they confuse everyone, dude. I hate these enemies so much. Gosh. How is it that I can't run from these little fucking... These little nut sacks, dude? crazy to me how, like, very uncommon it is to run on the first go. And in Dragon Quest, the only one who can run is, like, the main lead, so it's even worse, because, like, no one else can run. It's like, I should be able to run from these little, these little things. They don't even look any, like, necessarily fast at all. That was just easy experience right there. Easy money right there. This is easy money. What? Robin Woods? Okay, not too bad. Uh, do the enemies change now that it's nighttime? If so, I may want to. Oh, I don't know what I want to do. No, it's still these guys. So that means the metal slimes have to still appear, right? Fuck. It's happening more rarer, which sucks. Kill them all. Okay. Roto leveled up, so that's good. That means Goliath is probably going to level up in a second, too. Not bad. Shit. I don't want to fight this team. Eh, I thought so. Alright. Hmm. She's Firebane. Nice. Um, uh, kill more Goliath. Damn it, it's like the exact same team. Got 
Yikes. I don't know what the fuck happened there, but definitely not what happened last time. Whew! Damn, I can't find any more uh, metal slimes. Firebane takes six magic now. Okay. Yeah. There's one. There's one of those little bastards. Hmm. Two knees, though. That's unfortunate. That is really unfortunate to have these two bitches here, though. Fuck! It's a good thing they're weak. They're weak and they don't like they don't like to run away. Fuck! She missed. Dude, when the, one of those little bitches you surround and you're trying to kill a metal slime, it's like an auto automatic you're not going to kill it anymore. That's unfortunate, dude. But even Colleen's not hitting anymore. And Colleen should definitely be hitting it. Jeebus, we got it. Ugh, man. That was an unfortunate metal slime. Um, let's turn that one. Like, we've gotten lucky with them just appearing with like a Simiac, but that was like bad. Shit. Fucking Marth is almost out of energy again. There we go. Good. Level 19. So that means that Colleen should be very close to her level up soon, too. Probably shouldn't be using those magic spells, like I said, but I didn't think about that. Do more enemies appear at night time? There we go, Colleen's next, like I thought. And then she just needs one more level up, and then I can turn her to a sage. And then, unfortunately, we're gonna have to do a little bit more level grind because then she's gonna go back. To I don't know why they did this, to be honest. But then she's gonna go back to level one. So we wanna just basically level her up to. Thank you. 
We just basically have to level her up. To like 10 or something. Just enough that she won't be like dying anytime soon. Like just from getting into any kind of fight. That's the only weird thing about the whole level, like change your class thing is that it, it basically makes that person back to level 1. Because they have to re, I guess they have to relearn that class. They have to re gain their knowledge of it or something. I'm assuming that's what they were going for. I can see why they would say, give it, give the sage to, um, Colleen, though, because I don't think their stat growth will change if their class changes, and for the time being, I mean, Colleen does have the more magic out of all of us, so she probably would be at benefit from it more so than any of us. Okay, one more level up, and then we'll finally class change her. And yeah, unlike Final Fantasy, we're not going to change everyone's class. The hero is always going to just be the hero. Goliath's always going to be a fighter. Um, hmm. We actually have a lot of ex like a lot of experience now. Like, we are some seasoned fighters now. now. If only we can fight another uh, metal slime. That's cool. I didn't know the poison needle can like one shot things sometimes. Lucky. Now, let's hope we stay lucky and doesn't run away. Goliath? What was that weak ass hit? Eight damage. Ah, it ran away. Oh well. I don't think there's anything we can do about that. Because it ran away so, like, suddenly. Not so lucky after all. Kind of just one shot everything now, so kind of have to just be able to do this now, luckily, which is good. Speeds up time. Um, still gotta do fire ban against these things though, just because it's a little faster, and these things can actually fuck us up fast if we let them. First things first, kill this fucking knee immediately. No! I feel like there's multiple, they like, it's a, a lot of the times they're gonna run away. Oh, really? They all ran away? At least kill one? No? No. Fuck. Oh well. I'm trying, the metal slimes are running away a lot more. Thank you. 
Nice. I said I found something in the treasure. I probably should look at what I found in that treasure chest. But it could be something good. That'd be cool if it was a hat item thing. A leather shield. Eh. We got the bronze shield, so that's not really useful to me right now. Damn, I thought he'd one shot it. Nice. Fuck. Nice. Just don't run away. Ah, I ran away. Oh. Is there a way to, like, make it not run away if I don't hit it? Imagine how long this would take without the speed up. That's all I'll say. It's hard for me to feel some type of way about this when I have speed up. Why is it so hard to run from these little bitches? That should be like running away from a slug. Oh, good one. Come on, we have to get this one. These, these, these. Oh, he has a tremendous hit to the fucking Ramor. Ramor. Good, attack us. Yes. Yes, we just need one more hit. Oh, he's dead already. Nice. Okay. Roto finds the agility seed. Cool. Ah, <sighs> okay. Who needs more agility? Forty-four. Holy shit! One eighty-two. Wow. Well, that's why Goliath always goes first. Holy shit, he's fast as hell. Thirty-four. You might want to give that to Martha then, especially because she's the healer. We might need her to heal quickly. Oh, wow. Colleen's really fucking slow, though. She's just criminy. Oh, let's get that to you. Nice. Okay. So Roto just got to level up, so we know what that means. Shouldn't be too much longer before Goliath gets another level up. And then once Goliath gets a level up, we should be good. Um, dude, this Firebane move is good. And she can use so much of it. Oh, shit. Two nebs. Never mind. Oh, we got two of them. This can go pretty good or pretty bad. Good shit, dude. Goliath is fucking showing his stuff now. Good, they both can they both wanna fight. I'm fine with that. Ah Roto. I'm not even gonna have Goliath fight the middle slime. Ah fuck. Damn it. Dude, maybe I should have him fucking Fuck. Let me try something. Ah, oh, damn it. It's a completely different fight. Why don't I save when I find some metal slimes? 
It's kind of foolish of me, honestly. Hey, what's going on, gamer dude? Actually, Goliath should be attacking Metal Slimes. He has better crit chance, and crits ignore the Metal Slimes defense. I thought, okay, yeah. I thought about that. So, you know, I'll give that a try. Because when I was using Goliath before, he was, like, the main one who would, like, never get a hit on him, hit on him at all. So I would just, like, screw it then. But it is a good point. If he can critical hit them, then that would be good. I went and got myself a poison needle, by the way, finally. So I can do better. Gr uh, level grinding with these bastards. We almost got to level 22. It's a little... It's a little much, but... That's the name of the game, baby. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Let's see. We're just gonna ignore the, the Simiacs, because they're not too bad anyway. Damn. Why are these metal slimes so nimble? They're metal. Shouldn't they be slow as fuck? I would say this is the first game where you actually could utilize the whole metal slimes thing, by the way. Because in the first game, metal slimes are really, really rare. Oh, fuck, I didn't mean to do that. This game, there are like a decent amount of places you can fight them. And if you haven't gotten it already, there's a book of Satori in the Tower North of Dharma, or what would nowadays be called All Trades Abbey. Oh yeah, don't worry. I got it. I have it. I all The only thing I need is Colleen to be level 20, and then we can change her to a, a sage. Because I believe it was you who said, like, the wizard should be the sage change. Which I agree. She has, like, the most amount of MP, like, magic. Come on, guys. We just gotta kill one. If one dies, I'm pretty sure that should be enough to, like, level up. Ah, fuck. Come on. Just kill the stupid thing. Yes! No! Yes! Yes! We got him! I'll take it. I'll take it. One out of two ain't bad. Damn, no level up from that? Yep, and that way you have another character with healing magic. Yes. That sounds pretty good to me. The enemies aren't... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I should have used Firebane. I'm getting too cocky here. Shit. How the hell are you doing, by the way, uh, gamer dude? Thanks for coming to the stream. I appreciate it, man. Oh, man. Luckily, like I said, the more and more we play RPGs, the less there's going to be level grinding in them. Like, most RPGs, like, in the SNES era, Game Boy, level grinding doesn't come till near the end of the game. Like, that's, like, where you'll level grind in most older games. I mean, like, the games after these is, like, like, other Earthbound, um... Pokemon, like most of those RPGs, you don't you don't really need to level grind until near the end. Final Fantasy to an extent as well. Like by Final Fantasy 4, there wasn't much level grinding if I remember right. Yesterday was my younger brother's birthday and he went to Pizza Ranch. Hey, happy birthday to your younger brother. What the hell's Pizza Ranch though? Is that like a, a form of Chuck E. Cheese out there or is it literally just a you know, when you said ranch, my first thought was the fucking condiment. What I was gonna say is just a place where they give you ranch and pizza. But it might actually be just like more modeled after a fucking ranch. Like, um, 
Dr. Phil ranch style. Isn't it kind of weird that Dr. Phil's not as big as he was again? Like, he went from, like, kind of obscure late-night show thing to, like, every YouTuber, and everyone was talking about him, and the whole, like, catch me outside, how about that girl got big. And then now no one's talking about Dr. Phil again. It's a pizza buffet and has a little arcade. Oh, they also have fried chicken and other stuff. Oh, man. I want some fried chicken, dude. That's all I was expecting to get, honestly. Okay, so we finally level grinded up to level 20 for uh, Colleen. So let's open up these doors and go ahead and fucking make her a sage, man. Give her, Take her to that next step to being godly. This is the Shrine of Dharma where people come to change profession. Do you wish to do so? Yes. Whose profession do you wish to change? Let me see how this works. Which profession does Colleen want to choose? So you're not changing profession after all? Very well. So be on your way. Let me see. Do I have to like literally like show it to him? Here you go. Roto cannot use the book of Satori. Oh wait, do I have to give it to her? Let me see. Oh wait, no, she has to read it, right? You need to put her book, put the book in her inventory. Oh, okay. Yes. Who's the profession you wish to change? Our wizard, Colleen. Which profession does Colleen want to choose? She would like to become a sage, good sir. Colleen wants to be a sage. Yes. Are you prepared to begin your training again from level one? Yes. Well then, this ought to put some spark into you. Yeah! Colleen achieves enlightenment and becomes a sage. So be on your way. Fuck you. Look at that. Look how ethereal she looks. So we now have a hero, a fighter, a priest, and a sage. Uh, and just like you said, she is back down to level fucking one. It's a little unfortunate, but I think she keeps her same amount of magic and health she had when she was, like, stronger. And, hold on, let me see. We'll use return just to make sure. And she keeps all of her magic. So she has all the magic spells she already had before. She's just a, a weaker level again. I like the sprite change too. I like it. She looks like a big deal. Okay. So yeah, her magic... Oh, it did. It went down a bit, but... It will also increase back up again. Any spell she already had transferred, her stats got half. She'll eventually learn all the mage slash wizard and priest slash pilgrim cleric type spells. So she honestly is like they're our best right now. It'll just take a while for her to get back to where she was before. But that's not to say that like, you know, she can't. It'll take a little bit. It'll be a little arduous. I mean, we're back to a, having a member who's level 1. When at this point in the game, you want everyone to be at least like level 16. So not the best, but on that same note, she also will increase in levels fast again. Because she's level 1. Snow Blast? What's that? What's Snow... Do we got ice moves now? I don't remember even seeing that move in the Nintendo Switch version. I kind of want to see it. Luckily, because of all that level grinding, all of us are strong. So, like the good friends we are, I'm assuming they're friends, they'll protect Colleen. She shouldn't be in too much of a problem with the rest of us being so good. Wow, that's pretty good damage. The best spellcaster out of the generic classes. And sages are similar to priests on this game, where they have better physical power and weapon selection than mages. Oh, really? That's good to know, actually. Well, look at that, see? She grew two levels in one fight. It's because she's just so weak right now, so... Shouldn't be too long. I'm pretty sure we fight, like... If we fight, like, uh... Uh, metal slime right now it'll really be she'll really increase in level ups sorry level four
You gotta be careful, though, because these enemies are dangerous. Look at that, dude. My goodness. Hell yes, I'm happy for you, Colleen. Already level 6. I'm not gonna get her all the way back up to level 20. Dear God, I just, I can't. We will get her to about... Pretty sure when I played on the Nintendo Switch, I got her up to about level 12-ish. Because like I said, she'll just level up and get stronger fast anyway. And everyone else at this point has gotten has been fighting so much, they're actually probably over-leveled, so... We just have to make it so she won't die from one shot to something, basically. But of course, sages are still not as physically strong as the hero soldiers, aka warriors and fighters, aka martial artists, yeah. Alright, good, 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 good fight here. Hopefully, this metal slime does not run away. Didn't mean to do that, oh well. Nice! Critical hit from Roto! That's what I'm talking about, dude. Okay, so let's see how much she levels up from this. That's a thousand experience points for a level sixer. Strength up at three, agility three, vitality two, HP six, another level up, yep. Strength one, agility one, vitality three, HP eight, new spell, new spell, another level up. One, three, three, two, two, HP five, MP two, and two new spells. That's awesome. That's one of the things I do like about uh, Dragon Quest. I like the addition to like enemies like Metal Slime. I like that in RPGs where they give you an enemy that like has a high high reward, but it's annoying to kill. I like that. You just like Dragon Quest was the first to do that, and it does it well. The Metal Slimes are really good like incentives to fight. Okay, Ramors. Huh? Oh, you can pick which type of spell she uses. What? That's crazy. Huh. Cool, I didn't even know that. And if you want other ideas about class changing, Martha and changing. Changing Martha into a soldier slash warrior is an ideal for a paladin-like build, but otherwise your party combo is fantastic. Hmm. Do I want that? That does sound pretty good to have like a soldier. A soldier that has like supporting and healing type magic. Damn, that is kind of cool. Hmm. But then I, okay, if I make that decision, I, I need to do it now then. Cause we're already level grinding. Well, you know what? I might be good. I might be good with this team. Because... Hmm. I think if we didn't have Goliath, I would want to do that. But since Goliath is so fucking fast and so good at this point, I don't think I need like a second like attacker like that, really. It would benefit, though, but I don't, I don't know if I want to have two characters that are starting back at level one, kind of, again. It's an option, but you don't got to do so, and you might like to wait for her to learn more spells if you do that. True. Now, look at that. Um, Colleen's already back up to level 10. That's cool though, she can like choose between her wizard spells and her, um, and like some pilgrim spells. Or not pilgrim, priest spells. I said pilgrim. I'll say a pilgrim. Oh wait, that is pilgrim. Whatever. We'll do a little bit of leveling up. Ooh, three metal slimes. That's too good to pass up here. Oh, the two nets. Oh, yes! With a critical hit right off the bat. Dude. Fuck yeah, Goliath. Oh my gosh! Another critical hit. Fuck yeah, Roto. Not a third, but that's alright. Damn. 
That's good. Uh, shit. Let's see. Kill these little bitches over here. What's Snow Blast? Can I hit everything or just one thing? Damn it, ran away. Oh well, 2000's still good. Hey, how's it going, General Jenkins? <laughs> that name is wonderful. These are some strange looking Pokemon. Yeah, the Pokemon series really went on with a new art style, didn't they? How you doing, man? Thanks for coming to a stream. Just different, but it's whatever. Snow Blast is what would be called Crackle nowadays. Oh, okay. That's fine. We killed two of them. I'm very, I'm very happy with two. I know Simi, uh, while I was back, so I was saying, what was up with you? Oh, thanks, dude. Yeah, man, I'm playing every game throughout history. Um, you just happen to come to the stream where I'm playing Dragon Quest 3, but after this, we'll be playing some Mario Brothers 2. I, I, you, I, bleh. You can look at my full streams channel to see all the games I'm playing and what I'm talking about. But yeah, man. I appreciate if you become part of the part of the historical movement. Okay. So Roto got to level up. And got H HP. Nice. Colleen definitely is going to get a level up. We got 2000. Look up by 1, HP by 8, max MP. What? She only got one level up from that? Damn, that's kind of surprising, to be honest, though. I fixed my Discord invite, by the way. So now, you should be able to join the Discord on here as well. Where you will make some new friends and see some really cool gaming setups that will make you very jealous. Because um, one of the Zoins posted their video game setup. I'm so fucking jealous. That dude had, like, so many consoles. The perfect, like, big screen TV. He had, like, a... He had an old TV under the big screen TV, of course, for like old games, for that CRT type feeling. What a Chad, dude. I'm so jealous. I would love a gaming room like that someday. Yeah, like in fact, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a gaming room like that someday. Does this move us all involve saving Yoshi from being dropped off cliffs and used as tools? Yoshi is friend. Yoshi is friend. I will do my best to not treat Yoshi in such a disrespectful way because Yoshi deserves better. We will be playing Yoshi's Island, so... Yoshi's Island definitely deserves a spot on the gens of gaming. I guess now Yoshi's video games, he's like Yarn. What was the, wasn't that the last one? Yoshi Yarn? Which they kind of got from like Kirby's Yarn. And I guess they were like, hey, Yoshi could be in that same kind of aesthetic. Wally, Wally World? Yeah, Wooly World? I thought it was Wooly World. Yeah, we're definitely going to play some Yoshi as well. I love Yoshi. Usually when I play Mario Kart, I'm usually either picking Mario or Yoshi. Oh, uh, yes, the Kachula. Kachula? One of the few monster names that stayed consistent. It's kind of goofy. That's probably... I'm always Luigi. Luigi's not a bad main. He's not a bad Mario Kart main. The real question is who you main in, like, Smash Brothers. Because I'll be honest, I, I, I kind of, I like to play as everyone, to be honest. I like to give everyone a little day in the sun. Everyone gets a, gets a little bit of love when I play Smash Brothers. I'm dirty with Luigi. Oh, really? There's actually, there's actually a little, like, challenging section, too, on the Discord. You can set up some online fights. Do I use Marth, Kirby, Mario? I don't, I don't care. I made Hero in Smash Ultimate, especially the Dragon Quest 3 Hero skin. Dude, I'm honestly, I'm behind with my Smash Brothers. Because, like, I know they kept they kept on making the Smash DLC passes. I don't think I bought any of them, dude. Which definitely makes me sad. It makes me sad. I never got to play as Banjo yet. I never got to play as Steve from Minecraft. It's because right when they, like, released the Smash passes... I, that was around the time I was like moving out and then ever since I just don't really have like a lot of moolah for that kind of stuff 
But I do, I do want to get those Smash Crashes eventually. Most, uh, most people tell me what I seem to be best with Chrom, but I use anyone except Olimar. <laughs> okay, well we could agree on that. I use mostly everyone, but yeah, Olimar is, Olimar is nasty. Not in a good way. Olimar is honestly very hard to use in Smash Bros. Just because Olimar is like, he honestly is kind of, she is kind of sucky. I generally like other sword fighters and magic using characters, also the Belmonts. The Belmonts are good. The Belmonts, yeah, they gave them such good reach. They honestly gave them a really good uh, move set. Because, I mean, they use a whip, so it kind of makes sense they have long reach. Oh shit, I'm out of magic. Oh fuck, I forgot Colleen does not have the magic she did before. Uh, fudge. Okay. Hmm. Alright, let's try to just overpower them then. Come on. Shit. I think level 12 should be enough, right? I don't think I should have to worry about Colleen's magic anymore, or like her strength. So with that being said, I think it's finally time to return and then continue the story. Wait, it does? Wait, I looked for an inn in there. I couldn't find it. Hold on, I will go back there just to see. Cause I looked for an inn in Dharma and I couldn't find one in here. Who has, oops, who has the key? You have the key, please use your key, sir. No, damn it, Goliath, use the key. Hold on, I gotta look for this shit. I couldn't find it in here. There's a staircase on the right hand side of the place that leads to an end. You're no way that's, no. What? There's a little thing over here. <gasps> there is! Are you fucking kidding me? It is said that in the far eastern seas is a golden country called Jipang. Damn it! I never knew there was an inn here this whole time. And it's cheap! Oh, for fuck's sake. And a church, yeah. Good lord, really? <sighs> That's unfortunate. Oh well. Now we know. I never played these games, so I'm totally clueless. Okay, so... Have you played any RPGs, uh, General Jenkins? By the way, can I just say I'm a fan of your name? Uh, I just want to put that out there. Have you played any RPGs? Dragon Quest is kind of like the grandfather of most of the RPGs now. So these games are very much old. They're a little bit, not they're not for everyone. They're a little level level grind heavy, but I've only played the first three. The first three are like that. I don't know how the other ones are gonna be. Um, okay, so let's continue our journey. Oops, I just wasted magic. Basically, you have like a hero, you have, well, you can have a lot of different things. But in this setup I have, I have a hero, a fighter, like someone who just like focuses on hand-to-hand -hand combat. A, a priest, right? That's what this is. I think it's a priest, not a pilgrim. They seem to be, from what I've noticed, more so focused on supporting, like supporting moves. Support and healing moves. And then we now have a sage, which is like... The ultimate magic user in this series where they can use black like attack magic healing magic all types of magic oh yeah Final Fantasy 10 and 12 are my go-to for a classic feeling Final Fantasy 7 is good but hard to go back to why is it hard to go back to and um yes 
We also will be playing those games too. That's why I'm doing a bit of speed up, because I know for RPGs, not everyone's cup of tea. And I don't want my RPG playthroughs to be too, like, long, so... I try my best. Hopefully it doesn't bother anyone as well, though. Man, we're, we're a strong fucking team now, though. Look at this shit. We are a powerful team, dude. That's what I'm talking about. That's the kind of team we need. But yeah. Final Fantasy was very much influenced by um, Dragon Quest. So if you like Final Fantasy, then you can kind of thank Dragon Quest for most of its most of the things you like about it. All right, so we want to go. We want to go south, south to a town called Lancel. Uh, kill these guys. I am not sweating these enemies anymore, dude. Man, she has a lot of spells now. It's kind of like, it's almost like, um, what's it called? It's almost like, intimidating. Dragon Quest is such an influential franchise in Japan. Yes, it was very, it's, it actually influenced Pokemon a little bit. Believe it or not. It's pretty big. I mean, whether I like Dragon Quest or not, it does deserve a spot on the gens of gaming. Which I do like Dragon Quest to an extent. It, uh, it definitely isn't my go-to still. I'm still a more of a fan of, like, Final Fantasy over it, but I can see why, pe why it got big and why people like it. Dragon Quest IX changed up sages a bit to where they're not outright the superior magic user, but they're still versatile and access, have access to Kazin, which is only for sages in that game for some reason. Our village is small, but the shrine is large. Okay. I am on a journey looking for the final key, but to obtain the key, they say I need some kind of vase. This store deals in weapons and armors. Okay, good. Because I have a lot of money, so... I, I should be able to buy something. Oh, a sacred robe. Is that good? That sounds useful. Let me see. Fable, Dragon Age, Kingdom Hearts, Chrono Trigger, Mario Style RPGs, Pokemon, World of, Crap, World of Warcraft, Diablo, Watch, Witcher, and I'm sure I'm missing a few that I've played or at least know of. Okay, so you have a pretty good extensive RPG library knowledge then. I can't wait till we get to Super Mario RPG, especially because the, the re remake just came out. I've just been wanting to play Super Mario RPG so badly again. Let's give this to Colleen. Oh yeah, I need to remember to equip her magic knife again now. You have to do things like one at a time too. Oh, her shit came off. I just realized she's not equipped with anything either. Whoops. Damn, she's pretty powerful. Let's give her back her magic knife and let's see. Sacred robe. 47, that's not bad. That's better than what uh, she could have on, right? Cloak of evasion. Yeah, that sucks. So let's go ahead and give her the sacred robe. Nice. Uh, Final Fantasy VII is hard to go back to because it just isn't built well for nowadays. Oh yeah. I mean, dude, I'm playing Dragon Quest III. I I know exactly what you mean by that. Then. I mean, I don't know. To me, Final Fantasy VII hasn't aged that badly. Especially now, I mean, you do, I mean, you have the remake, but at this point, the remake is like a completely different game. So I guess I can see why from that angle, it's not necessary. Can she wear this? Yes, she can. Thank goodness. Okay. But, um, I don't know. I mean, I don't think Final Fantasy VII has aged badly, in my opinion. Um... It's, it's slow sometimes, but there's no level grinding really in it. Which to me, if you have a lot of level grinding in RPG, that's what sells to me that, yeah, this is aged pretty bad. Should I play the Persona games, by the way? I've been, I've been thinking about that a lot lately. Like, should I play Persona 1 through 4? Because I definitely want to play Persona 5. But, I don't know. 
She can equip some better weapons and armor than she could as a mage as well. Hard to imagine a priest type character not being able to wear a sacred robe. <laughs> it's got a good point there. Okay, this is the end. I don't think I need that. I didn't really get into any bad fights. I am the daughter of the tool shopkeeper. Please buy some invisibility herbs. Do I need that? Is that a necessary thing? Oh, there's nothing up here. Alright, let's look for these invisibility herbs then. They sound kind of useful. Stop dealing tools. Here it is. 300. If I do say so myself, who will take this possession? Give it to Roto. I don't care. Um, okay. Most from Protoga reached the castle of Egenberg. So now we have to go back to Protoga. Alright, stay with me, Jenkins. I know, it's... I know, you jump... Whenever you jump into an RPG of all games, and like the halfway point, it's very confusing. It's like, it's like jumping into an anime halfway. Like, how the fuck... You know how many times you could jump into a halfway point in One Piece and be completely confused what the fuck you're looking at? But, uh, like I said, though, I still, I appreciate all of you guys. I appreciate you all for watching, by the way. Thank you so much. Um, even if you're just lurking, I really appreciate it very much. And, uh, like I said, in the year 1988, where the fuck is... Where did Colleen go? Whoa, wait a minute, huh? Where's Colleen? What the fuck? Hold on, what just happened? What? Where the fuck did Colleen go? Dude. Oh fuck! I'm I'm kind of scared. She's oh she's right there. Did those birds do something? Holy shit! I got fucking scared. Oh goodness. Okay. She just disappeared like without a trace. Is that normal? She got hit with a certain spell. She's back in a lion hand. Don't worry. Oh, oh my gosh! There's a spell that can make her fucking just go back to fucking the first town. That's that's scary. That's a little too OP. I don't like that in my RPGs. Don't do that to me, game. These fucking birds are that dangerous. Kill these little things then. Chance infernos. What spell do they use? I'm kind of curious. Oh well. I guess we won't find out if they're dead. Oh no, he's still alive. She got hit with Disperse. Oh, okay. Holy criminy. Anyway. Uh, Borderlands, I would, rec I would consider an FPS RPG. It kind of is, isn't it? Borderlands does have some RPG type elements but it's also a shooting game dude good get ready for that by the way they're gonna be so many first person shooter games in the gens of gaming because those are pretty big games i mean call of duty modern warfare i've never once played halo in my life but that's a pretty big game though i don't know if you consider borderlands rpg i figured it, i figure it is but not at the same time i would i consider it is I would consider it kind of an RPG. It has some RPG elements. I mean, Legend of Zelda wouldn't be considered like a typical RPG, but even that game, I would, I would say it has RPG elements that you can say that to some extent. Okay, um, so we need to go to some castle. The, uh, I know there's a bit of like lag zoins, but. It's just because this this map is big, and they don't give you a map in this game. 
So I'm just trying to make sure I'm going the right way. If you guys don't mind, of course. Let's see. 24. Where the hell's... Where the fuck is it? I cannot find this place for the life of me. Oh, it's literally to the left. Oh yeah, Zelda's good. Ocarina of Time is my best game of all time. That's your favorite game, huh? Ocarina of Time is a good game. I mean, it'd be crazy not to have that on the list. Ocarina of Time is like one of those classic games that like, in my opinion, I know a lot of people say the Nintendo 64 library has aged really badly, especially because the controller. I think Zelda Ocarina of Time has still aged pretty well, in my opinion. I don't think it's not, I still don't think it's like you go back to it and you're like, oh, this game is not as good as I once remembered. Like, Ocarina of Time is like really well made. Skyrim is my number two. I never played Skyrim, to be honest. I tried it for a second, I never played any more of it. Disperse slash Blasto is just something to inconvenience you having to go back to Elihan and pick up that party member again. Gosh, that scared the fuck out of me, though, for real. That scared me. I thought she was gone forever. Like, for real. Nice. Critical hit. I like it. Nice. And there we go. See, those guys were a little bit more dangerous. Now they're not so bad. Okay, so this is where we wanted to go. Look at this. They track you trying to get around them. That's kind of impressive, isn't it? This is the uh, this is the historic castle of Eggenbeer. Eggenbeer? Yokels aren't a welcome here. No sword, no shield, no service. Yeah, so they won't let you through. So, if you use an invincibility herb that the girl told us we should definitely buy. Sprinkles an invisibility herb on the floor. Did it say on the floor? There we go. We're invisible. So now we can just walk right in. Fuck you. What? There it is again. Or am I just hearing things? Look at that. Screw your rules. I have the... Oh, God. We're back to normal. Oh, well. That was enough to get in, at least. That would be so mean if Dragon Quest had permanent mechanic... Permadeath mechanics. <laughs> okay. Uh... Okay. So, we need to look around here because there's something here we need to get. I like how once you're inside, they don't do anything. Like, they could just throw you out. But they're just like, well, he's in now, so fuck it. Okay, so we want to get a, an item called the Vase of Drought or something like that. So, we got to get a bit of a block puzzle here. We got to move these blocks up there. To, on, onto these three tiles. Okay. That dude napping. Yeah, shitty guard. Oh, did I fuck my... I screwed myself up. I screwed myself up. Damn it. Wait, did I? Oh, wait. No, don't give up yet, Zine. Don't give up yet, Zinkit. Hold on. I might not have. Push that up, and then... Push this to the right. And then up. There. I have like there's four I have four members here. Yeah, you guys don't want to help me out here. And then let's push this bad boy back up. There we go. We're using our brain a little bit. Push this over here. Walk around. Push this up. Look at that. I thought I screwed us over. And then over here. Nice. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> gamer dude was like, no, no, hold on. You didn't mess it up. And we go into this chest. We can get the vase of drought. Um. So now that we have the vase of drought. What? 
Okay. So now we have the Vase of Drought. We want to go to another area that's north of Jipang. This, this puzzle is reminiscent of some other NES games. Very. Old NES games love block puzzles, man. You know what game does not deserve a spot on the Gens of Gaming, but I want to play it because it's just like... It's like a personal thing. I want to play uh, Pac-Man World. I had Pac-Man World when I was a kid. And you know what? It's not bad. I think more people need to know about it. That game is obscure in a way. But it's good. Um, who the fuck has the key? Hello. These are the kings and princesses' chambers. Where the hell is the queen? You know, this kind of feels like an actual break-in. Because we came in right as they're sleeping and it's nighttime. So kudos to us coming in at night at a perfect time for this to look like a break-in. Okay, so we want to go north of Jipong. And eventually you'll find some shoals. What does he say? This is the historic castle of Egg and Beer. Yoko Land, welcome. No sword, no service. No, no, he doesn't say anything. Oh, he goes back to blocking you. What a prick. Alright. I think that was all we need to do here. So now, there's a lot of sailing in this stream. So now, where the hell is Jipong? Jipong is right there. We want to go north of it. Oh, shit. So what would be the best way to go about this, then? I guess I can go far... What the fudge? Okay, let's go up. I think that would be better if I go north. Can I run from this? Nope. No. Fuck. Come on, man. Damn it! Oh, well, but apparently in Dragon Quest series, no one gives a shit if you pop in unannounced and start taking their stuff. I know. Like, well, he's in now, so fuck it. Damn, these King Squids are pretty tough enemies, dude. They gave a lot of experience, though, so I guess the game acknowledges that they're tough. Roto is numb. Oh, I didn't even notice. Goliath doesn't know any spells. I did notice that. Let's heal more on Roto. And then let's use... Okay, does she have heal, heal more yet? No, she just has heal. Let's use heal more on yourself. Alright, let's go north. I think that'll be best. We'll go up north. <sighs> it's actually a, like an actual long journey. We gotta go all the way around the world, kind of. So, I'm gonna do a little bit of speed up here. Okay, I don't know where we are. Let's see, where are we? Two witches appeared. Okay, I didn't even know witches were in this game. Kill them. Burn them. I'm speaking like the people of the time when it comes to witches. Oh, they're not that strong. They're not too bad. The spot where you use that vase is also directly south of Eliahan. Directly south of Eliahan. Oh, well, I'll be damned, it is. Nice, more level ups for Colleen. Like I said, she'll just level up naturally back to where everyone else is, so I'm not too worried about her anymore. Um, now, if I just knew where the hell I am, that would be great. Am I? Where am I? Fire Bane. This is a pretty good team, though. I agree. Like, it's it's one of those slow burns where, like, they don't reach their full potential until much later on, but when they are, it's kind of like, alright, good. I'm not really stressing anymore. 
about winning any fights or anything like that. Damn it. There should be, like, some type of, um... Oh, fuck. Colleen's almost out of magic. I just realized that. Shit. Damn. That's gonna be the worst thing about it, is just having Colleen go all the way back up to where the magic she had before was at. Spari. Um... Maybe I should... Okay, let's just go to Elihan, then. Maybe that'll be easier. And we can rest up there, too. We're back, Mom! We're tired, so we're gonna just plop our sweaty, nasty selves onto the beds you have here. You must be exhausted. Sit down and rest. Dude, he should be exhausted. He has done nothing but fight for fucking days, dude. Fighting for literal days on end. Okay. Now let's go to where we need to go. Thank you for the tip, gamer dude, as usual. Four Man of Wars. I don't understand that name. Of all the names in Dragon Quest, that's the one I least understand. Like, these things aren't men, and I don't understand where the a war comes from. Holy shit, I just realized we hit a milestone. We all have 100 HP now. Hell yeah. Can we run? Yes. Is this it? Is this where we want to be? Okay, I think this is it. So let's use the Vase of Drought. So it's a vase of drought afloat on the ocean. <gasps> and then up comes a shrine. Oh. Dude, that's kind of cool. I like lore like that. So do we just put the vase like Duncan in the water and it just like basically sucked in so much ocean water it just like this appeared? That's cool. Roto opens the treasure chest and Roto finds the final key. So the final key, I think, as it sounds, I think it opens every every lock in this game now. I think there's no door it can't unlock. There is a great pit called Gaiga, deep in the mountains of the Necrogon. All the misfortunes emanate from that pit. That kind of sounds like where we need to finish this game at then. Also known as the ultimate key. Yeah, that's probably a better translation of it final key sounds like it's like it's literally just the last key but it really is the ultimate key so now we can finally open all locked doors um okay so now we want to go to oh it goes back underwater okay i didn't know that would happen so now we want to go just south of where we're at and go to Giapong. Finally, we've been hearing about it. Now we can finally go there. Also, thank you so much for all the views and for the lurks or anything like that. I thank you all so much. Uh, if you're new here, please consider dropping a follow. It helps me out so much, and I'll be I'll be your broski for life. Oh boy, I just don't want to be bothered with these things anymore. Damn, this thing knows ice bolt. So, Giapong is, like, south of where we're at, so it's actually not, like, far from where we're at right now. You'll have to put it, you'll have to try it, but it should open any door, so you can go put the magic key away in the vault. Should I go do that real quick, then? Yeah, let me go put the normal key in the vault. And let me go, I don't think I need the vase anymore, right? That was, like, the only reason I should need the vase item. So, we should get rid of the vase, too. Let's go to Giapong, since it's like right here, and then once we got that town mapped up, we can just return back to it. Where is it? It's like near the coastline, isn't it? Yeah, it should be right down here. Also, in the Nintendo Switch version, you could like make a new town with a merchant or something like that. Is that in this version? Hey, new music. 
Here, here, I bid you the warmest welcome to Jiapong. This place is clearly supposed to be Japan. Oh my gosh, an outlander! Just, they, they said that back then? Oh my gosh. Hello. If we do not offer someone, the Orochi will attack and devour everyone. Does an Orochi mean snake? Like Orochimaru? Oh no, my darling older sister, Yao Yo. Yao, yao, mm, let's try it again. Yao Yo, Ya Yui? Ya Yoi has been chosen for the next offering. Hello? Ah, oh, shit, I'm sorry. Alas, my only daughter chosen to be offered to the Orochi. Uh oh. So it sounds like they have they do some sacrifice shit in this village. And uh, someone's older sister and daughter is supposed to be the next sacrifice. Uh, the vase can be put away too. This is in every version of Dragon Quest 3. It's, it's needed to progress through the plot. It's how you are the order you need. Oh shit, should I be doing that now then? Hello? The Orochi is a terrifying monster. The next offering may may be me. Help! Uh oh. That's unfortunate. We gotta like sacrifice the young. I have come here to spread the teachings, but alas, everyone here is devoted to Himiko. Is this like wait the teachings of what? Christianity? Is he like an actual like Christian priest? Orb? What's that? I ain't sure what you mean, but if it's anything like a crystal ball, Himiko has one. Hello. Oh, I'm so glad it's it's a boy. <laughs> if it had been a girl, I would have always worried she would become an offering. Oh, like she's talking about like her son. That's sad, dude. You like have a daughter, like fuck. My daughter could be a fucking sacrifice. Shit. We owe our existence to Himiko, and Himiko hath said that we must offer someone to the Orochi. Let me meet this 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 Himiko. Hiriko? I probably already fucked up the name. These are the quarters of our master, Himiko. Does everyone dress in such a strange manner in foreign lands? How weird. Hey, man. It covers the genitals and it keeps me warm. That's all that matters. If you slay the many, the many-headed serpent, the Orochi, Himiko would most certainly rejoice. Himiko is vexed by the Orochi. So right now we're hearing a lot about Himiko and the Orochi. You can go ahead and get a deal like a merchant and go to that location and start building the new town. I don't think it's straight up Christianity, but rather a generic religion that has at least some similar values. Ah, uh, okay. Still a funny line though. In recent times, Himiko has acquired a strange supernatural power. Like it's a funny, it's funny to imagine like a dude trying to like spread some kind of religion to different towns in this game. That's just kind of interesting. That's a good point on, on Dragon Quest. I think that's interesting. Offerings are chosen by Himiko's prophecy. Hmm. I'm assuming this is Himiko. She's got a, a more important looking sprite. This is Himiko's chamber. Are you the outlander called Roto? I despise outlanders. Okay, well, what the fuck, man? I'm just trying to, like, talk to these people. They keep, they constantly, like, oh, you're not from this place? Fuck off, then. Like, damn, man. Just trying to, just trying to talk to you. Okay, so. Now that. Now that you said that, gamer dude. I might want to go ahead and start the merchant thing then, because yeah. If it's in every version, then let's go, let's go ahead and start that up. Let me see. I actually forgot where the town is. It's kind of funny that they put like a, they put an inn in this village, but you can just talk to your mom and she'll heal you, she'll heal you for free. Let's let's um, get a merchant friend real quick, so that he can. St oh yeah, let's go to the vault too. I forgot that's what we came here for. Uh, this is the vault. How many have? How many I help you leave? Yes, leave item. 
Let's see. So yeah, we don't need the vase, so you can go ahead and take that bad boy. One gold, that's fine. Uh, is there anything else? Yes. What do you want? Leave here. Do we need the royal scroll anymore? Honestly, don't even remember what that was for. It's on the right. It's on the right-hand side of the upper co right continent. Okay. Thank you so much, gamer dude. Oh, no, 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 no. If it's 1,000 pieces of gold or more... No, no, I don't want to leave my gold with you. Why is that even an option in this game? It doesn't seem like one of those games where you lose money for, like, dying, so... Yes, yeah, so you can have the magic key. I'm gonna leave the animal suit, because I don't know what that's for yet. And then... Hold on. Is there anything else? No. I should buy some more med medical herbs. I haven't needed them anymore, but it's still not bad to have. I think it was a letter that you needed for the hob... Oh, yeah, yeah, the dwarf friend. This is the eatery where people gather. What's on your mind? What's on your mind, dear? Leave a member. Very well, I'll record your current status. Yes. Who will you part with? <sighs> You're gonna part with Martha, correct? Yes. Not for long, though. Is there anything else you need? Yes. What's on your mind, dear? Add a member. Who do you want to add? Oh, shit, I didn't... Whoops. Oh, fuck, I need to create a merchant. I'll be back. Animal suit is an armor piece that actually changes the sprite of who equips it. Nothing else special about it. Yeah, I noticed it turned Goliath into a cat. It's like, okay. Do you have new companions to register? Yes. Well, then I shall register your present condition. May I? Who will you register? What should our merchant be? What should our merchant friend be called? What's a merchant-ish sounding name? Um, Mert. <laughs> I don't know. Mert. That's a that's a merchant sounding name. Founding name, I guess. Mert. Maybe. No. 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 Fuck. Yes. Hold on, I have, the, I have a better version. Murdy. Yeah, that sounds like a merchant's name. Murdy. Is this the right person? Yes. His stats don't matter. We're, we're, we're literally getting him just for this um, thing we have to set up for later on that's going to be important. Add member, very well, record your current status, yes. Who do you want to add? Give me Murdy. You're adding Murdy to your party, right? Murdy, Brodo is calling you. Murdy's added to the party. Is there anything else? No. Come back come back again. What's the person what's the purpose of having a merchant anyway? Like are they at all in any way like good to the party? Okay. So you said it's on the right hand side in the upper continent? Okay, I think I know what you're talking about. So, shit. If I can't run from some slimes, all right. So, shit. Why is the encounter rate so high in this game? Um, I guess it'd be faster to go do something like this. This and then go down. Shit. A little too far down. I think they're only in the remake versions. But they're bikini items that change the appearance of female characters in other versions of Dragon Quest 3. Oh, yeah, we saw that. That was in, um. Where was that? That was in, um. I think. What was it called? Oh, we're giving Murdy some experience from that fight. Uh, uh, Osaram or something? I think it was an Osaram. 
So it's in this version too. It costs like 3,000 gold though. It costs a lot of money. So if you really want to see the characters in like a pixelated bikini. But it sounds kind of, it's, it's kind of pointless. Holy shit, Colleen with a fucking critical hit. Nice. Oh, the merchants find extra money for you. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. That's an interesting job class. Well, fuck. <sighs> Good lord. Trying to get to where we need to go is going to be a fucking... Like, one of the toughest fetch questions in video games. Dude, Murdy is getting strong, though. There it is. Okay. So we want to go here. Hello. I think I'll build a town here. Once a town is built, it will be a good thing for everyone. But I'll need some merchants. What do you say, Murdy? Will you accept the job? Really? Murdy will give up the journey and settle down in this town? Is that really what you want? Yes, I don't care for Murdy, to be honest. I just got him for this. Oh, I'm grateful. From this day forward, Murdy and I shall start to build a town together. Well, I'm gonna go stay here. I'll send the things I've been carrying to, to the vault at Aliahan. Alright. Thanks for many favors. Goodbye, Rotel. I'll never forget our travels together. For being so kind, I will give you a hint. In the village of Sioux, in the middle of this continent, there is a well. Check the area around it carefully. Alright. So, uh, that's important for later, like uh, Gamer Dude said. Really? An encounter right outside of town, huh? Literally just stepped out of town. Fuck. Okay, let's let's immediately warp back to the lie hand. One of the merchants, one of the spells merchant gets is yell help or whatever it's called in newer location localizations. It can call up a shop or priest, and then they can dig for randomized chance of ding up gold. Okay. I mean that's pretty cool. At least there are actual perks to having a merchant. All right. What's on your mind? Very well, record your data, yes. Who do you want to add to your party? Give me Martha back, please. You're adding Martha to your party, right? Done, Martha Roto is calling you. Martha's added to the party. Is there anything else? No, come back again. All right, we got our team back. The formation's a little off, but I think since our Sage is probably inevitably gonna be stronger than Martha, We'll probably leave that how it is, actually. That's probably not bad. Because whoever's in front gets hit more, right? The shop that you get from using Yell Help is based on whatever item selection of the last shop you visited. That's cool. That's not a bad perk. That's not bad. Okay, so now that that's finally done, we can go back to Jipong. Jipong. Um, and we're gonna want to kind of check out what's going on with this whole Orochi business and sacrifices because, you know, let's be honest, sacrificing young girls, just it just doesn't sound like a cool thing to do. It sounds like something you'd want to stop if you're a hero. So I'm gonna see, uh, I, I don't know where to go actually. Uh-oh. I don't know where to go. Uh, let me pull this up real quick. We haven't. We actually haven't had a dungeon in a while. Now that I think about it. We've just been level grinding. Okay. This dungeon isn't that long, if I remember right. Whoa. It's a little confusing, though. Oh, you have to get hurt in this one by, um, lava, right? Or no? I think so. Let me see. Isn't there lava in this one? Yeah, yeah, there's lava that can hurt you. So, just like Final Fantasy 1, we got lava. Um. Oh, 
I can't step in it. God dang it. <laughs> okay. All right, well now we know. You can't step in the lava in this. You can't burn your feet like the Final Fantasy heroes were willing to do. Lame. There's an exploit you can do with that in the Game Boy Color version where you can go to a separate save file for some reason. And for some reason, you use Yell Help and the shop will still have the contents of the last shop you visited from another save file. Huh. Alright, we got some derangers. Whatever that means. I'm gonna go ahead and use Stop Spell because I know these little bitches are gonna do that. Actually, we use our normal magic, use Firebane on these little bitches, and then use. Have heard you stop spell. Shit. It seems like they already did it. But Goliath is confused. Alright. Not a good fight, but not a bad one. Derangers, aka Lump Shamans. Lump Shamans. She got fucked up. I think Gol I think Goliath hit her upside the head. Good lord. Our strongest member just punched Colleen in the face. Jeebus. Ooh, Lava Basher? I like that sprite. Uh, let's use... Do I have any more, like, full... Full range attacks, or just that? Let's use Sap, because they look tough. Not too bad. Not too bad. Nine damage to Goliath. Wow. Dude, Goliath got so strong. Oh, Snowblast hurts everything. Oh, yes. Oh, that's good. Oh, they're fucked. Goliath had such a glow up, though. Even for being pretty useless. To being very fucking powerful. He's like our most powerful team member. Which he should be. The f The Fern friends I mentioned are palette swap of these lava bashers. Deranger and one fierce fierce burr. Kill the bear and kill the deranger then. As usual, we're gonna start speeding up once we fight enemies that are the same, because, you know, like I said, I don't wanna take too long with that kind of stuff. Uh, heal more on Martha. Martha Stewart. I'm gonna keep making the joke. I don't know, I do not care. This, this dungeon is actually kind of short. There are more, like, just dead ends and fake outs in it than anything. But, like, if you go the right way, it's actually kind of a short dungeon. Kill these two little bastards. Nice. You're right, though. If I had made, um... Martha... A, uh, knight. Or a warrior, that would be useful. But... I think I like her like this, though. I think it's fine. How much... How much magic does... Snowblast do? Oh my gosh, damn it! Does six. Fucking Coke, dude, he's like, fucking jump scares me so often. His critical hit rate bonus will go up as he levels. Eventually he'll be a critical hit machine. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely to hear. A Noah mask. Isn't that a cursed item? Dude, I... <laughs> the cursed items, like, were such a, like, beginner's trap for me when I played this game. Or any of the Dragon Quest games i played so far. Because they always were like, oh, this gives a good stat bonus. So I put them on, and then something will be taken away that I really need. And it would be like, god dang it. Uh, just to show off, look how look how fast this man is. Dude, Goliath is, has 200 agility. He is my fastest party member, easily. Easily my fastest. Godly speed, dude. She's Infernos. At this point, Martha has a lot of uh, energy. These enemies suck they confuse me. 
Luckily, they didn't confuse Goliath, though. There's a little better. Three fierce bears. Just kill them, I don't care. Oh boy. Just kill them, please. Okay. Damn, 400 experience. Not bad. Interestingly, it has a super high defense bonus, too, but it's caught. The curse is confusion. Ah. Uh, so it has a high defense bonus, but. It's curse is confusion. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. Like. And I got so scared, too, when I played. For the first time, uh, Dragon Quest, because. They always have it where it's like, you can't take them off. You can't take the cursed items off. So I was just like, am I fucked? Do I have to have this on now? Luckily, there is, like, some kind of priest or some kind of, like, character that can, like, take it off. But, man, that scared me my first playthrough. Nice. Critical hit. I love it. Critical hit again. I love it. Oh, boy. Can't even walk two feet without another fight being started. Yikes. Um, that's a great item to give the hero if you're doing a solo challenge. There are solo challenges in games? That's, dude, fan bases are crazy to me. A solo challenge in this game? That sounds difficult as hell. This bridge just has so many damn enemies. Oh, Colleen has heal more now. Nice. So benefit that Martha does it for now. Next time I'll have Colleen do it, though. Dude. Like, really? Can I just run? Damn it! It's so hard to run from fights in this game. Not officially as a game mode, but you could choose to not take party members. Hmm. Dude. Like, the amount of times we're running into these enemies is starting to become stupid. Like, the encounter rate is way too high in some of these areas in this game. I didn't know I could just walk up to it. Shit! Oh boy. Alright, well here's a Rochi. I didn't get any time to prep, prep for that one. Um, use Sap and let's use Heal more. A Rochi's actually kind of a tough fight too, so this is really like... Not ideal. I didn't know the fight would just start from walking up to him like that. Oh fuck. Yeah. heal up before the fight. There we go. Shite, dude. They gave me so many encounters before I got here. Now I'm kind of like having a... I'm gonna have a hard time fighting him with this level of magic, but oh well. Orochi is a tough customer, be careful. Yeah. Okay, what spells does Rota have at this point? Stop spell, fireball, iron eye, spell. Okay. Oops. Right, and then we'll have you use sap, and then we'll have Martha use defense. Yeah, 34 damage is nothing crazy. We need to lower his uh, defense so we can do more damage. 
14 damage to Goliath. That's not bad. Ouch. Ouch. Any enemy that can hit all your party members is going to be dangerous in Dragon Quest. Roach's defense power is lowered by 68 points. Nice. And then we'll... Roach's defense is lowered by zero. Okay. Um... Let me see. Let's try to do... Do you think... I wonder if Surround will work. Hmm. He doesn't have any spells, so I don't need to worry about that. Let's try Surround. And then we'll use Speed Up. That is kind of useful to have two party members. Oh, a crit from Goliath. Dude, he is a fucking beast. It is good to have two supporters at this point. Oh, it worked. Nice. Ow. Still hit us with the fire, though. That breath attack hits hard. Yes, it does. Oh, two? Two flame breath attacks in one go? Dude, come on, Orochi. Okay. Shit, I don't know what to do. Let me see. I could hope that we're close to beating him. Damn, is any of our... There's no, like, revive spell in this game? Shit! Dude, I used agility up! Damn, dude! Even with agility up, he still fucking got me like that? Barrier, aka Insulate. I don't think I had that spell, though. Dude, I feel like I was doing pretty good, too. What's a spell that makes our defense go higher? I thought it was just defense. Fuck. Vivifying, aka Zing, or Revive. Our revival spells. Uh, dude, fuck off, Orochi. Okay, so we're gonna have to do where Roto attacks and then the girls just have to heal. I know that sucks, but he's really fucking powerful. And can he, he can easily just screw us over. So we have to just play like the, the slow game here, because he could just fuck us up so easily, it's not even funny. Heal more on Roto, and then heal more on Goliath. Shit, if we can make it in time. Fuck! Dude! Oh my gosh! Roshi's really strong. Upper, aka increase, or uh, our buff or kabuff. Sap, and then let's start out because we know he's gonna go after Ro, so let's just start out with using heal. There. And then fight, fight, and then we'll have Colleen use heal more on herself. And then we'll have her use heal more on Goliath. Shit! How did he die? Dude, okay. It's like Orochi knows. And the Nintendo Switch version, it didn't seem this hard. I almost feel like this is harder. Did I use Sap? I think I need to use Sap again. Shit, he's dead, dude. Oh my gosh. How was he so how is he so much faster than us? Okay, then use speed up. And then use heal more. Okay. 
Oh, he's able to just to attack twice. Okay. Let's see, Martha can use field more and Rota then. The good thing is Goliath is always gonna attack first, so that's good. It has no effect on Orochi. Oh man. So did I just get lucky and it managed to work that one time? Fuck. Oh my gosh, dude. This fight is ridiculous. Might be able to get some better armor for the hero somewhere. Yeah. Mm. Fudge. He's kind of just going after Roto, though. Damn, I can't bring his defense down. Oh. Ah, oh, fuck. Does defense make his defense go down? Orochi, but not always. It has no effect. Okay. I don't want to do attacks that aren't going to do anything. You know what? Let's try one more time. Damn, dude, how much health does he have? Fuck, dude. How much health does this son of a bitch have? He is tough. Like, how much health does he have? I'm not even close to killing him. Oh my gosh. 
He can just one shot us. I mean, this fight would be over if he just simply, like, used the flame breath twice. So he'll either kill Goliath or he'll kill Colleen. Oh, wait, well, obviously Roto, too. So someone has to die then. This is like final boss shit, dude. There's just nothing we can do. Okay. Should have been called Decrease. Oh my gosh. I think there's no way to save anyone, like everyone, this time. Cause he'll attack first, and then he'll just fucking kill. Man, the fact that this thing has like two attacks is insane. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna win this. I mean, I don't see how anything we can do at this point can do anything to him. Damn, I thought we were pretty over level too, but like, I guess not. Like, he can't be put to sleep. Oh, wait, he can? We could put him to sleep? Hmm. Let me see. Holy shit, he can be put to sleep? He woke up immediately. Fucking hell, man. This is bullshit, dude. Martha's almost out of magic anyway. He wakes up immediately. Gosh, that is such shitty luck. Put him to sleep again. We got like just a little bit of magic left. I kind of wish I knew he could be put to sleep, though. Damn. Okay, hold on. He's very susceptible to sleep. Dude! I almost wish I could just start this fight over. Dude, seriously though, he has a lot of health. She's out of magic. Like, how is he still alive? This is my best bet, man. If I can't beat him with this, like, sleep strategy, I'm not gonna beat him. 
He's weirdly susceptible to it. How is he so... How does he have so much health? We're just not winning. Fuck! Uh. Damn it, dude. It's gonna cost so much to bring them all back to life. Four hundred and ten, dude. They they go too hard on raising the price every time you gotta like bring someone back to life. Fudge. Some more leveling? Really? What level are we? We're all like level 21. Okay, there is a place where I can get a full plate of armor, I think. Maybe I just need to get that. I forgot where it was at though. I know there's a plate where I, place where I can get full plate armor. Like weapon shop here? I always get weirdly unlucky when I use return to a random town. It's always a town that has like nothing of what I wanted. Ah, damn it. The arrow could do with better shield too. How do I get him? Where the hell do I go then? Barata? shop in this town either? I mean, just with that strategy alone, though, I didn't know Orochi was so, like, susceptible to sleep. I could try and, like, exploit that. Damn, that's so annoying. plate. Okay, here it is. And an iron shield. Roto. No. Come again. Okay. Let me equip that. Draw sword. And then we'll play armor. 
Defense didn't go up a lot, but it went up a little. And let's get an iron shield. You can get an iron shield here for the hero? Okay. Um... Let me just move this to someone else real quick. And then we get the iron shield. Don't you lose half your money if you die? He's had a lot of money. Oh, wait. Brass sword, full plate armor, iron shield, iron helmet. Okay. A little bit better. Um, let's sell the half plate armor. And then we want to sell the bronze shield. Okay, I'm going to try to fight Orochi one more time like this, as I am. And if we still can't win, then we're just going to go... Um, I'll just come back and next stream we'll just, we'll just train a little bit. But I should be able to do it now that I know he's, he's very susceptible to sleep. I'm gonna try to avoid as many enemies as possible too. time that's crazy I wish it was like that more often hey what's going on Mike dude it's been a while where you been I was just thinking about you see why did I got why did I get no encounter that time you can get an iron mask for the hero at Lancel. Oh, he can wear that? Is that better than the iron helmet? Okay, let's try this again. Um, so let's try to use sap right away, because that was like my best bet. If it doesn't work, then fine. And then we'll try to use sleep with Martha. Cause if I can lower his fucking insane amounts of defense, hopefully I can kill him within this, like, like today. Good, he's still very susceptible to sleep. Damn, no effect. And then he wakes up right away. Fuck you, Orochi. Um... Do I keep trying like sleep? Should I use speed up while I can? I keep trying to use sleep. Bro, busy as fuck. Oh, nice, critical. I got the new job of Wingstar and I've been training and then I'm gonna be even more busy next month. Oh, fuck. I miss my boy Mike. What about you, bro? How you been? I've been good. Uh, we hit a milestone. We hit 400 followers. I'm very happy about that. Yes, his defense went down. Um, doing good and and other and blah, and other areas as well. Just doing good. I'm doing good, man. Thanks for asking. And then you kind of caught me at a really like tough boss fight, so I'm not sure I'll be able to like chat too much right at the moment. Fuck! This is the hardest boss. This boss is genuinely harder than the final boss. I'm gonna already spoil that now. The final boss is not gonna be this hard.
Fuck, am I- is there no way to do anything then? Oh no, he's always gonna attack. Oh my gosh. Agility does help. I shouldn't have saved. The only member who's faster than Orochi is fucking Goliath. But I think Orochi's always gonna hit first now. Fuck, and then everyone else dies. If you run, he only like attacks Relto. Huh. Have a for you, bro. Are you good, bro? All right. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. This is insane. How hard this boss is for no reason. I think I'm fucked. I don't think I can win anymore. I think the ship has sailed, because he's just going to use his flame breath and kill Colleen and Martha. God dang it! I'm so foolish. I don't know why I saved it there. As if I, like, had it in the bag. Yeah, you're probably going to have to level up some more. First thing is, like, Roto can't even guard for some reason. So, like, everyone else could technically guard his attack, but Roto's always gonna not do that. Like, Martha was able to survive that turn because I could make her guard. But, fucking Roto's not gonna ever do that. This must be harder in this version then, because yeah, in the Nintendo Switch version, this was not as hard. Not nearly as hard. Alright, fuck it, yeah. This isn't gonna happen. Uh, that's, a, that's very frustrating. Alright, um... Go ahead and take more of my money that I'm already losing a lot of. Yeah, I don't want to keep, like, giving this jack off all my money that I'm already losing a lot of, so... We'll just have to level grind a bit. Oops. Um... Damn, what's a good level to fight this boss at, then? I must look it up. Fuck you, Orochi. He's not even... Uh, whatever. Alright, let's see. I believe in you, Z. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> your, your belief in me is unfounded, though, my friend. Just because this game is fiendish. Let's see. Let, let's look at let's look at this together. Let's get the class together. Pull up the uh, the fucking what's that thing they used to use in school? They don't use anymore. The projector. Let's pull up the projector real quick. Let's see. So if we look this up, what level? Oh gosh, I have the caps on. Level should I be to fight Orochi DQ three NES around level eighteen? 
What level do you have to beat Orochi? Second round, if Orochi is not sleep cast again, heal whoever needs it. Cast by kill if available. And parry if only one is attacking. Depending on your characters, at around level 18, you can kill it in two turns if you're a bit lucky. Your priest learning barrier, aka insulate, is one of the things that will help increase the fist against breath attacks. When does the priest learn barrier? Let me see. Oops. What level does priest... Oops. Learn... Fuck, I can't type this shit right now. Barrier? Uh, Where is it? Heal us all? Wait, I don't know. I'm not talking about multi-heal. Oh, wait. Barrier slash insulate level 32. Yikes. Is that the NES version? Okay. Here's what I think we'll do. I'm going to fight that dude one final time. And the next time I fight him, I'm going to make it so... I'm very, I'm very going to be, I'm going to be very aware that the fight can go sideways very easily. And I'm going to focus more on putting him to sleep and guarding. So I think since I'm making everyone attack, everyone's getting hurt. It's like the same. Which I could probably minimize that if I just like... I, this is this is going to be a strategic fight that's full on strategy. That's what I'm getting from this. Because I, I think I'm fine. I probably could level up our sage a bit more. But we'll see. That's at a higher level than I realized. Might not need to be that strong to beat him. Yeah. It's alright. We're gonna we're gonna give it another shot. I'm gonna end the stream for tonight though. Um, and then next time we stream, we're gonna fight him again. And this time just, just fully think about what we're doing. I'm gonna not use speed up too much. I'm gonna exploit the hell out of save states. And we should beat Orochi. Also, your priest can use Iron Lance for a better weapon. Oh, see? See, these are things we need to know. We need to gear up and have a better mindset going forward. But uh, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much for the viewership. Please join the Discord. Drop a follow if you're new. Thank you again to everyone who came by. Thank you everyone who came by just to talk. Gamer Dude, General Jenkins. Mike, thank you guys so much. And uh, next stream, we're going to do it. We're going to beat Orochi's bitch ass. I fucking mark my words. And then once that's done, let's see. How much of the game is left? Just about. Mm, quite a bit. Jesus. Sheebus crop. This game is big, dude. Well, we're probably about just around halfway done. But uh, some of that time span was like level grinding, so. We should be almost around finished, like probably in about two more streams. But we'll see how it goes. And then once that's done, we'll move on to Matteo. But thank you all so much again. I really appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next stream where we'll be playing more Dragon Quest. And maybe some just chatting, just to, just to, just to diverse, diversify the streams a bit. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you all again. I'll see you in the next one. I love you all. Stay safe out there. Bye.